From the Laycock Center in Williamsburg, welcome today to Tribe Athletics TV. This is Jay Colley with head football coach at the College of William & Mary, Jimmy Laycock. And first of all, coach, going back a couple of weeks ago, congratulations on the thrilling overtime victory over Stony Brook. Well, that was the, uh, it was thrilling. It was exciting. And, uh, you know, to go into overtime on the road, you never know what to expect. But, uh, you know, we did what we had to do to come from behind and, uh, and pull it out couple of guys to kind of mention. Steven Sennett had that big block of the field goal in overtime. And talk about that play if you can. Well, you know, you know, we went to overtime. We played defense first, which is what you normally do. And, you know, we did a nice job defensively stopping them. And then we got a good push. Jasper, Jasper Coleman got a big push in there. And, and Steve was able to come up there with the block. And, you know, that really set us up offensively. So, you know, we all we had to do was, uh, was score. And that, that was a, a huge play. And you had a lot of confidence. And you have a lot of confidence in John Carpenter. So, I think you said after the game you were kind of playing it to get into field goal position, but uh, Abdul Sabor had a different. Uh, Mikel had a different thought. Well, yeah, we popped him for you know he popped loose for the touchdown, but again, you know when you take the ball over in, in overtime like that, all you got to do is kick a field goal. The first thing you want to do is not lose yardage. You want to back up any. So you know we had to be a little conservative with what we were doing, and you know we were helped by a face mask penalty that they got on uh, Sabor early on, and then you know basically we were setting up the field goal and ran a power play and uh, the great job blocking and uh, Sabor got it in. Now the team's four and one rising to 10th in the country right now heading to New Hampshire this weekend but before we talk about this big matchup with the Wildcats who are by the way number four in the country uh, you can never predict what uh, what you're going to be like on an open date, but did this open date hit you pretty good? Well, it was, timing was good. I mean, you know, again, you, you, some people say you want to get it in the middle of the season. Well, actually, it was. Uh, it did fall basically in the middle of the season when you consider uh, starting practice in August. So, yeah, it, it, it hit us good. And obviously, you know, it's well documented the number of um, injuries we had. And that didn't even mention, you know, a number of guys that were banged up that were playing with something wrong. So, yeah, we used it as an opportunity to get some guys healthy, to get their legs back, and also to give some younger guys some reps that, uh, you know, you know, we'll go, we're going to need them as we come down the stretch. This is a New Hampshire team this weekend that has made, I think, 10 consecutive times they've made it to the playoffs. So really a, a great program uh, for the Wildcats. And yet, William & Mary has dominated uh, play uh, versus New Hampshire over the last 10 years. Yeah, I wish I could uh, pinpoint a specific reason for that, Jay. Uh, we have certainly have played well. We had a big win when we shut them out last year here in Williamsburg. And again, that was a very good New Hampshire team that went on to the playoffs. So, But, you know, playing up there I'm sure they're going to be ready for us and uh, they're a very talented team uh, you know offensively they're extremely multiple they have a lot of different ways to move the ball and put points on the board and uh, defensively they play very hard so you know you know you're always a little concerned too coming back from a an open date really what kind of rhythm you can get whether you can pick things right back up hopefully we can it is a nationally televised game. Can you tell us uh, a couple of keys for our tribe uh, uh, faithful that may be watching on Saturday afternoon for a tribe victory? Well, I think, you know, one of the big thing, reasons why uh, we've done well against them defensively is, is because we have um, pretty much controlled the line of scrimmage against them. I mean, our defensive front has really uh, kind of knocked them off kilter or disrupted a lot of their, their misdirections or their pass protections and things like that. And I think that's going to be another big big key for us is our defensive front's going to have to play real well. And then offensively, uh, you know, we've been okay. We've been efficient. We haven't put up the number of yards or points maybe we'd like, but we haven't beaten ourselves. We're going to have to have uh, more points. We're going to have to have more big plays in this game than we've had in uh, previous games. Good luck this weekend, Coach. Thanks, Jay.